are standing in the beautiful, classic automotive museum in Balboa Park. We start them every two weeks just to run them, you know, get the engines warm. We have more, shall we say, an eclectic collection. They're beautiful, but they're also have their own functionalities. They have their own particular talents, as it were. There's going to be something here for everybody, whether you're five years old, 10 years old, or 75 years old. I remember coming here as a kid and just thinking how cool it was and picking out your favorite. And so I was trying to give them a little bit of that experience, too. I want the bug. Yeah. I've been looking for a long time to get my own, so I'm trying to save up money to get a Beetle. <laughs> I kind of like the Lamborghini right there. The 68 Mustang, yeah. No, I just like the look and the feel of it, just, yeah. I'm with him. I want the Fastback Mustang. I, I wanted it when I was his age, and I still want it now, so. <laughs> <laughs> we like to present our Cars and Society side to show a plethora of topics within it, so that if you're not into one thing, for example, if you're not into uh, 1920s French cars, then your tastes might be appeased by learning about, you know, muscle cars or, or brass era vehicles or Frank Sinatra's tra taxi. You know, it's a little bit eclectic, but it's a little bit touches on everything. This museum changes its, its displays so often. You know, every four months, half the museum is all new cars, a whole new theme. So there's always something new to see. There's always something new to learn. This is actually was my mom's first car, and so when I saw it, I instantly like remembered all those memories she told me about. So it was nice to see it in a restored, nice-looking form. I enjoy listening to what people have to say about the individual cars and how they relate to it, what they like, what brought them here, and why they have a particular favorite. The folks that make this place tick are the volunteers. Uh, they really are the soul of this museum. Most of them are here because of their love of the automobiles. And they like the people who chase automobiles because there's a little bit of them and everybody that walks through the front door here. This place here, uh, we meet a lot of people that we can exchange car lies. If there's anything here that makes us dramatically different from most museums, it is the library. We probably have about 12 to 14,000 magazines. We got the first issue of Motor Trend right here. That started in 1947. We can help somebody out with a wiring diagram or an ignition switch problem or... We have uh, repair manuals that go all the way back to the teens. If you've got the time, they'll find the page and the indication in one of those books that can help you out. Having been born and raised in Southern California, uh, cars are part of my wiring. We've all had experiences, including many wonderful experiences throughout our life. And since cars are a big part of America, we've all been touched in some way. With the variety of what we show, we have something for everybody. We have very few visitors that don't leave with a smile on their face because they've had a good car experience. Thank you.